Okay, we're going to convert some uh, fractions uh, into decimals uh, and percentages. Uh, and there are, there are two ways we're going to look at this. One uh, using uh, a calculator and one without using a calculator, which is what I'm going to start with first. Uh, so I'm going to start with a calculator trying to change uh, fractions such as 3 tenths, uh, 11 twenty fifths and another example 34 out of 50 I want to change those all into percentages now the reason we can do these without a calculator is because each of these numbers on the bottom here can be turned into one hundredths quite easily so in the first example I can turn three tenths into some way out of a hundred by multiplying uh, by ten 10 times 10 gives me 100, and multiply the top number by 10 as well, I get 30. So there you see, I have 30 out of 100, which is 30%, because percent, of course, is out of 100. So 30% or 0.3. Now, 11 out of 25, I can turn that to a fraction out of 100, because 25 multiplied by 4 becomes 100. So if I multiply 25 by 4, I multiply 11 by 4 as well, I get 44. So this time, 11 out of 25 is 44 out of 100. So I can write that as a percentage, 44% or 0.44. Finally, I've got a, a fraction there that's out of 50. And again, because it's out of 50, I can easily turn it into a fraction out of 100. And this time I'm going to multiply by 2. So 2 times 50 is 100. If I multiply 34 by 2 as well, I get 68. 68 out of 100 is 68% or 0.68 if I want to write it as a decimal. To change more complicated fractions into decimals and percentages, uh, I'm going to need the use of a calculator. So uh, there's my calculator and I'm going to try and change some more difficult fractions. Fractions such as 6 sevenths, 9 fifteenths and 18 out of 23. Now to change each of those fractions into a decimal and into a percentage I'm going to have to use a calculator. So first I'm going to work out 6 divided by 7 because of course uh, 6 over 7 or 6 sevenths means 6 divided by 7 and that gives me 0 0.8571 well it goes on for an awful long time after that I don't really want to uh, have it accurate uh, there's the decimal if I want the right full decimal it's there on my calculator but I need to change this into a percentage now 0 0.85 that's 85 percent notice there's a 7 there so if I wanted to round that off to the nearest percentage uh, that would be 86%. So I can either write 85.7% if I want an accurate percentage, or if I want to round it off to the nearest percent, 86%. My next example is 9 fifteenths, and again I'm going to have to go back to my calculator. Uh, 9 divided by 15 uh, gives me 0 0.6. Now 0 0.6, that's a, a, a decimal that stops pretty much straight away. Uh, 0.6 is just over half, 0.5 is, is a halfway, isn't it? 50%. So 0.6 is 60%. Exactly. And finally I've got 18 divided by 23. 18 out of 23. So again go to my calculator, 18 out of 23. Again I've got a very long decimal this time. 0.7826 it goes on for an awful long time and if I want to look at my uh, percentage accurately well, there I go 0.7878% Point 0.2 well the next digit tells me that I can round it up to 0 0.3 if I want to be accurate 78.3% or if I just needed it to the nearest uh, whole percentage then 78% would be fine, 78%.